Welcome back, Awaken Intuitives. Welcome to any Intuitives Awakened. <laughs> Same thing. Um, Natalie here, we are back to do a little unboxing and message, a general um, oracle message. Um, I, well, I do have a tarot and an oracle here. Um, over the weekend, we went out to the city, spent some time with my mom, and got some tattoos. So, um, this was probably my favorite session with my artist. Um, I'm still in shock. Um, we have the same taste and style and all that. And so I just tell him what I want and I just trust him completely. And I'm just, I just get amazed. He's so creative, so artistic, intuitive as well. So I told him I wanted a woman Coco Pelly. And uh, this is what he created. And um, I seriously am absolutely amazed, amazed. So there's that and I feel just amazing about it. Um, I was the most excited about this one and um, yeah, <laughs> so there's that and um, the oracle kind of goes well with uh, my tattoo. So we're gonna first unbox. Oh, I do have some positive music frequency in the black the background. I do not own the rights to. But we have the Celestial Tarot here. It is by Kay Steventon and Brian Clark. And it shows the back and it says, Celestial Tarot is both a handbook of the heavens and an oracular guide to the inner life. And on the side it says, Celestial Tarot fuses the myths, symbols, and astronomy of the planets, signs, constellations, and fixed stars. Oh, I love it. Um, with astrological divination to reveal the mysteries of the tarot in an engaging and unique way. So here's the back. It's just like a regular cardboard box. So let's open this first. Dang it. Ah. Oh. Got to take this package off as well. Okay, so it has the little paper guidebook, which I'm fine with. Mmm. Got it. All right. So it has a couple extra cards just to tell a little bit more about it. It's quite beautiful. So here's the back. And just a little information on Sagittarius there. And then it says, um, Celestial Tarot, K. Steventon, creator of the Celestial Tarot deck, is a professional artist and astrologer living in Melbourne, Australia. Brian Clark, author of the Celestial Tarot booklet, is an international lecturer, writer, and educator in the disciplines of astrology and mythology. Embedded in our night sky are archetypal images, symbols, and stories that have enchanted the human soul for eons. Onto the sky sanctuary and ancients projected their imagination using star patterns to animate their myths and immortalize their deities and heroes. Celestial Tarot fuses the myths, symbols, and astronomy of the planets, signs, and constellations, and fixed stars with astrological divination to reveal the mysteries of the tarot in an engaging and unique way. Celestial Tarot is both a handbook of the heavens and an auricular, auricular guide to the inner life. And it has the symbols on the top and bottom for um, each zodiac sign. Pretty cool. And oh my gosh. Okay, so just a simple book. It's a little paper book. I have a few of these, which I'm okay with them, honestly, personally. But we're going to set that aside and these aside. And... Like I said, there's the back of them. And the first one, of course, starts with the Fool. It's a zero of the Major Arcana, and it's Uranus. But that's pretty cool. I like it. And then the Magician is ruled by Mercury, I guess, in this one. That one's actually kind of surprises me because, um, well, it's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Um, and... Gemini would rule the third house and that would be Mercury. So that makes sense actually. So um, the high priestess is the moon. That surprises me <laughs> because this one's different. I'm gonna have to get used to it. This one's totally different. 
but the high priestess is cancer pisces scorpio energy the moon is that's all right too oh the empress the third major arcana is um venus these are very beautiful. They're um, a little thin, but not as thin as some of my cards. So the Emperor's Aries, of course. I love it. And it's got the symbols. So Taurus, the Hierophant, perfect. I like them. Um, we've got the Gemini, there we go. Okay, I like that. So they're using signs. Uh, planets and constellations so that does actually make a lot of sense this actually would help astrologers um, beginning so that's perfect so the lovers Gemini oh I love it the chariot cancer we're not gonna go through them all so strength is Leo super cool All right, Virgo, the hermit. We're having the full worm moon in Virgo tomorrow or today, 6th or 7th, depending on your location. But in the U.S., it's the 7th. So the whale fortune is Jupiter. Ooh, I love that expansion. I like the artwork. Okay, Justice Libra. Ooh, there's a peacock. I like it. I do. Um, the hangman is Neptune energy. Ooh, I like it. I can't wait to see what it says in the guidebook. So death is Scorpio. Temperance is Sagittarius. That's, oh my goodness. This is amazing. I love it with the symbols and everything and the constellation. All right, we got the devil, which is Capricorn. Okay, the tower is Mars energy. Beautiful. The star is Aquarius, which I'm an Aquarius. Love it. Okay, the moon Pisces, there we go. I love it. It's all absolutely perfect. The sun is the sun. That's so cool. Okay, judgment is Pluto energy. We're having Pluto enter into Aquarius. So um, that is happening on the 25th, 23rd, 23rd. Let's see, the world is Saturn energy. Oh, this is freaking cool. I love it, yeah. Okay, we've got the Ace of Wands, Cassiopeia. Okay, so this has gotta be a constellation. Right? Ooh, oh my gosh, two wands, Satis. I am impressed. I am impressed. Three of Wands, Perseus. Dang, it looks like he cut off the head of Medusa. Possibly. So it's got Jupiter on there and Aries on there. I freaking love it. Four of Wands, Hydra. Dang. Okay, let's skip a ways. Three of Pentacles is Delphinus. Wow. <laughs> that is freaking awesome. This is so meant. Nine of Pentacles is the Boots constellation. Oh my gosh. This is cool. Okay, Ace of Swords is Crucis. Libra symbol on there. This is awesome. We've got the Eight of Swords. No way. That's a freaking boxer. I love boxers. It's a freaking boxer dog. Canis Major. Oh my gosh. That is a trip. Prince of Swords, which is the Knight of Swords. It shows a constellation. Mutable air. Dang. I love it. Okay. Seven of Cups, Al Risha. Dang. 
pretty cool. All right, let's see. Last one, King of Cups, card on water. And it's got a crab. Yes, not a lobster. Freak, yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's do this real quick. Okay, let's pull out the Princess of Wands. So that's the Page of Wands and it says Summer, okay? So now let's go in the guidebook. I'm really curious on what it says. I don't know if it'll tell a lot about like Mutable Air or Uranus or these constellations like the uh, Centaurus and things like that, but let's see. So we need the Princess of Wands and Princess of Wands, the season of summer. The Princess of Wands embodies the season of summer. Oh my gosh, I love it. Embracing the, the zodi zodiacal signs of Cancer, Leon, Virgo. Really? Cancer, Leo, and Virgo? That one actually surprises me a little bit because I would think Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, like fire, warm signs. Let's see what it says. Oh, for the Northern Hemisphere, the sun is at its highest. It is a period of growth, of warmth and light, of innocence and the fullness of life. Nature is abundant and creative. Similarly, when the card appears, the individual's nature bursts with the potential to flourish and ripen. Characteristic of summer, this is a solar time of life, both creative and heroic. Okay, these characteristics may also be embodied by a youth eager to start new things and excited by life's opportunities. For the Southern Hemisphere, the summer solstice is in the sign of Capricorn and embraces the sign as well as Aquarius and Pisces. Sun signs as metaphors of the seasons have been widely used from a Northern Hemisphere perspective. It is also possible to use a seasonal metaphor for the Southern signs. However, these are only metaphors to show the cyclical development of the signs and were not used to delineate, delineate the signs. Okay. Hmm. All right, so, um, you know, let's read a little bit more on this Canis Major, the Nine of Swords. And, okay, and it's another dog. Canis Major, as the smaller of the two dogs, Canis Major rises first, while the Greeks did not name the star group. The Arabs linked the constellations together in their legend of two sisters, one who eloped, abandoning the other, a motive consistent with Uranus, the archetype of separation and Gemini, the sibling. A split has occurred. Uranus is also symbolic of awakening. Therefore, the card suggests an alternate vantage point to feeling disconnected. Um, duality and separateness constellate anxiety, even panic. However, the appearance of the lesser dog serves as a guide to healing the feelings of isolation and injury. Wow, okay, I'm very curious about learning a little bit more on these star constellations. Like there's there's Hercules, Serpents, Argo, um, Andromeda, nuh-uh, nuh-uh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I have an Andromeda um, Lemurian Andara crystal. I wanna read this one real quick. Ooh, okay. The Nine of Cups. The figure of the chained woman has been consistently projected onto the constellation of Andromeda. Her name, ruler of men, reveals the ancient tradition of the queen, the goddess's surrogate, wed to the hero. In the Nine of Cups, Andromeda is free of the chains that have held her hostage. In a mood of reverie, she raises her arm in a gesture of liberation. Oh my gosh, naked and innocent, she's ready to give herself freely. The Nine of Cups augurs a period of emotional fulfillment and satisfaction as the weight of the past has been emotionally lifted. You know what? I am very, very impressed. Very impressed. I love it. Oh my gosh. Okay, super cool. Love it. All right, we need to <laughs> unbox the Oracle now. And it's by Elena Fairchild. This is, I believe, my third deck by her. Earth Warriors Oracle Empowering the Sacred Guardians and Inspired Visionaries. Elena Fairchild artwork is by Isabel Brina. I'm so excited. I've seen this one uh, multiple times. It's in my wish list and the Amazon um, shopping cart or whatever. And um, I actually got these in town. So let's see the back. Ooh, ooh. 
Ooh, it's textured. Even the letters and the wording right here is textured. Oh, I love it. 44 cards and guidebook set, new revised edition, a new world is being born. That is perfect for today. It is founded on love and awareness, releasing the knots of fear and hate. Our new reality is gaining ground, yet during this precious transitional moment of birth, it needs protectors. Earth warriors are guardians of this new world, inspiring humanity to prosper and thrive in loving harmony with the wisdom of life. This is absolutely perfect for right now. Defying convention and living from the heart, earth warriors urge humanity forward with enormous positivity and passion for a meaningful contribution and sacred purpose. Ready to act for truth, earth warriors shine light into darkness when those who trade in fear wish to keep it hidden. That is amazing. Earth warriors are wise, wild, and willing to crack open mainstream conditioning with their loving consciousness of freedom. They are bright lights, creative visionaries, and sacred custodians of the souls of Earth and the human collective. Explore diverse spiritual line lineages and awaken to an inclusive and unifying, unifying spirituality that can strengthen the collective soul of humanity. This unique oracle expresses universal wisdom to empower your soul with courage and optimism. It's time to fulfill your sacred purpose to awaken, heal, and protect humanity on, and our divine planet. May we do it so together with love. This is perfect. I mean, seriously perfect for right now. As the moon phases, and look, the very top one's a full moon. The full moon, warm moon in Virgo is tomorrow, the 7th, March 7th, 2023. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's the guidebook. Okay, okay, and there's the deck. Oh my gosh, it's like a very light yellow inside. It's very pretty. Okay, oh my gosh, this guidebook is actually thick. No pictures, but, oh wait, there are. Never mind. Oh, I'm so excited. Not colored or anything, but I don't mind. But look at that. That is amazing. It's got the contents, um, the introduction. I'm sure it's got card spreads. The Divine Feminine Speaks. Claiming your roots to the Earth Mother. How to use the deck spreads oh the healing processes and look look at that oh it's on the back dang oh look and it's purple oh i can't wait to see let's open it okay we've got number one hope so beauty way of the navajo These are insane. Two, Estanatlehi, Lehi, Estanatlehi, Turquoise Hanging Woman. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Oh, ooh, three, Totemic Puma, Power Awakening. Oh my gosh. These are insane. Monarch butterfly on the bottom right there. Wow, four goddess of Teotihuacan. No shit, I was gonna do reading on that place and I'm going to, I'm going to. Dang, she guards the waters of life. These are insane. Five, circle cross of Tenon, rare intersection of heaven and earth. So freaking colorful. Six, Palhik Mena, medicine of the butterfly Kachina. Seven, Aditi of Hathor, hidden blessings, moon phases. It's got the crab. No, that's that's a more of a butterfly. It looked like one at first. Weird. Eight, Yulaka, Yuluku, Yuluka, Yuluka, Vahana, Grace of She Who Rides the Owl. I've had an owl every night lately. Who in, I actually seen it fly by my window um, right when the sun was setting and it flew across the street and started hooting. Nine, Blessings of Kuma, No Good Thing Shall Be Withheld. Another owl. 
Oh, I am taken back. 10, Kite Yakai, Kite Yakai, Guardian of Papa Tuanuka, ooh, Papa Tuanuku. These are incredible. 11, eight, Ayana Vision, Way of the Divine Feminine Revealed. Uh, yes. <laughs> Another owl. 12. Amuata, Sage of Higher Knowledge. Ah, uh, look at that. And the moon phases. Oh my gosh. 13. Ixchel, Medicine of the Rainbow Jaguar. And there's a freaking uh, hummingbirds. Uh, yes. 14, Clan of the Wolf Heart. This is super cool. We are the ones we've been waiting for. Wow. That is insane. 15, Ajna Durga, Power of the Good. Tire. These are insane. 16, Lolo Stand in the Light. beautiful 17 padma sundari out of the out of darkness the light is born totally freaking worth it 18 kuntur yak 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 yash yash blessings from the son of hana pacha Jeez, oh my gosh. 19, Shakana, time to cross the threshold. Totally freaking worth it. It's 20, Asuka, Asuka, star of Venus. Twenty one is Didari. Dadiri, hearing truth. Oh, I love it. 22, Ingoniyama. Ingoniyama, honor of the ancient king. <sighs> Dang. These are insane. 23, Abuela Medicina. Remedy of the grandmothers. 24, Pueo, Pueo, guardian of the um, Amukau, um, um, Makua, um, Makua. More owls. This was so meant. 25, Aloha Ke Akua, blessings of the supreme being. Hawaiian. That's got to be Hawaiian. 26, Amaru, beautiful place. Look at that. Jeez. This is insane. 27, Pono Pono, immeasurable power of the heart way. Look at the rainbow too. This is going to be amazing. 28, Cuente, Cuente, sweet paradox of empowering grace. Look at that hummingbird. That's a Joshua tree. That's got to be. Those have to be Joshua trees. 29, Nana Buluku. She rests to create. I have to finish this. 30, Panthera, the precious and rare. <laughs> I gotta finish this. 31, Elhaz, divine might foretold. Ooh. 32, Pacha Karm, Karmak, Nourishment of the Soul. There's a lot of like Aztec, Mesoamerican stuff. 33, Intikana, Intikana, Child of the Light. Dang, that is amazing. 
34. Uh, Alakoa, Spirit of the Warrior. Jeez, I can't wait to see what these meanings are. Okay, 35. Mama Kuela, a Mandala of the Moon. 36. Mayu, Soma from the Galactic Heart. Oh. <laughs> wow. My favorite animal. 37. Diamond Tiger of the Black Moon. Second chances bring success. White tigers are my favorite animal. That and otters. Thirty-eight, Pachamama. She with the Andean Emerald Heart. This one's insane. Thirty-nine, Tawodi, Tawodi, kin of the Red-tailed Hawk. Ooh, I love it. 40. Hiaka. Hiaka. Sorceress of light. Look at the owl. Almost done. 41. Medicine horse. Progress on the path. Oh. Oh my gosh. Okay. This is the original picture of the cover. 42, Kanini, in each other we find ourselves. That is so beautiful. 43, Viracocha, honor the light. There was another one that looked a lot like that. 44, white buffalo woman. Oh! Hopeful heart, see her sign. Oh my gosh. Those are badass, seriously. Oh my gosh. Freaking awesome. Okay, so let's pull out some messages, all right? Okay, let's start with the celestial tarot. <laughs> let's do this. I can't wait to see what we get. All right, divine source creator protectors, ancestors of the love and light only. Can you help cleanse this deck of any possible left behind energy from others touching it, from production, from it traveling, any energy left over whatsoever that is no longer needed. Thank you so much. In the guidebook, please. Can we do the oracle now, please? Cleanse any and all leftover energy from traveling, from being created through anybody else's hands whatsoever. Any energy whatsoever. Thank you so much in the guidebook. Thank you, Divine Source Creator, Protectors, Ancestors of the Love and Light Only. All right, you guys, let's do this. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to see what we get. Let's shuffle, cleanse, and knock the deck. Divine Source Creator, Protectors, Ancestors of the Love and Light Only. Can you give us all here, whoever's watching, that may need a message, um, may need to hear a message, any encouragement, Anything like that whatsoever from the Celestial Tarot. First, please. I love how it shuffles. It's just simple and easy. Okay. All right. Do you have a message here for us? Those who are actually here listening, needing to hear a message, any confirmations, any synchronicities or signs or anything like that. Maybe one or two cards. Maybe just one or two. Ooh. Seriously? The moon? What was I saying the whole time? The moon? Seriously, it's tomorrow. This may be posted on the day of the full moon with my internet speed, but it's a high priestess. It's Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. It's going to be a full worm moon in Virgo. And um, 
she's all about getting downloads from the universe from divine source creator she has visions she's psychic she's very intuitive she holds the key <clears throat> knowledge secrets uh she's very wise let's read it out of the guidebook though Ooh, i can't wait to see what it says in here on the moon high priestess anyway let's see and it is the second major arcana in the tarot all right the inner mysteries of the moon Selene, the original Greek goddess of the moon, is the surrogate of the high priestess. Rising out of the ocean, Selene yoked her shimmering horses to her chariot and drove it across the night sky, mesmerizing earth in the gentle glow of her moonlight. As half veiled, the goddess is inviting us into her mysteries, responding to our urge to be engaged in her reverie and to unveil the truth. Truth is going to be freaking coming to light a lot with humanity personally this year okay in the background is the shadow of the traditional high priestess who carries the essence of goddess wisdom from all cultures on an oracular level the high priestess invites us to be more aware of symbols and signs feeling responses bodily aches and pains emotional reactions and mood swings in general in the inner life the veil that conceals the other world lifts the reveal its lifts to reveal its mystery a lot of us may be experiencing some aches and pains and uh, mood swings um, like kind of like being frustrated and stuff like that with this full moon energy now let's see what we get with the earth warriors oracle by elena elena sorry elena fairchild can we get a message, please? Divine Source Creator, Protectors, Ancestors of the Love and Lights Only from the Earth Warriors Oracle, please. To go along with our Heart High Priestess Moon card. Those needing to hear it. 31. El Haz. El Haz. El, El Haz. El Haz divine might foretold that was just talking about truth so a lot of truth may be illuminated with this full moon and it, the 31 adds up to a four so it could be within home family structure stability your foundation so let's find 31 though and read on that i'm already loving this so much okay el haz Divine might foretold, you know what is correct. You understand that any gain which comes from denying your values and compromising yourself creates a loss of soul. There are times when it may seem as though people who act without integrity are obtaining benefit without adverse reper repercussions. Life can seem unfair if you limit yourself to a strictly human perspective, yet nothing escapes the attention of the spiritual worlds. Restorative action and balancing fairness is always in action at a higher level according to divine timing and wisdom. Stay true to your integrity, put your faith in divine justice, and you'll win in a way that brings benefit to many. Don't let yourself down with behavior or attitudes that are unworthy of you. It goes so perfectly with that moon high priestess card. You have divinity within you and a right to be in the world with dignity, grace, and integrity, whether in a small matter of apparent insignificance to anyone other than yourself, or in a big matters or in big matters when you feel your soul and perhaps the souls of others are on the line integrity will be saving your grace your saving grace i'm sorry i can get a little dyslexic sometimes just a little you can be kind of hard but also firm as you refuse to allow anyone or anything to convince you that lowering your standards of expect acceptable behavior is warranted be in right relationship with yourself and the divine justice will always be done whether you see it happening or not put your faith in the good and true and you will successfully continue on your path others are relying on you to be true to yourself more than you may realize you are strong enough to live with honor and self-respect spiritual guidance el haz is a norse rune that brings elk wisdom this is a soul quality of integrity which places you on the right side of the spiritual laws of the universe in the Norse tradition, personal luck, grace, power, and the energy and ability to succeed are known as Haminja. This oracle foretells an increase in your Haminja and your capacity to impart your spiritual energy to your communities. 
You will be in a position of rising power and influence, which your integrity will help you express wisely. Those who hold spiritual influence will sometimes end up standing apart from others who may demonstrate less inner strength. By refusing to compromise what you know is true, you will be able to uplift those who are ready to go beyond egoic attachment to greed, laziness, and boredom. You can bring about a new understanding that one standard of living is about more than the personal ownership of possessions. Rather, it is about the inner state of our being and how we choose to live the life we have been given. Your influence is not about encouraging others to make the same choices that you have made for yourself, but to learn to honor their own integrity and make wise decisions for themselves. In this way, you become a spiritual protector and guardian of those in your communities, helping each individual to grow according to their soul journey. Elk urges us to care for and protect each other. We are urged to firm about what is just and what is not correct, and also two one thing i just have to say is that is not an elk this is a buck deer but that's all right it's okay they both have the antlers and that's like crown chakra connected to source divine the universe so let's keep reading and also to be merciful and have compassion in our heart. We are human beings who will stumble if we are courageous enough to pursue a path of justice and truth, the divine father, an aspect which elk wisdom expresses through justice, nobility, and integrity will support and encourage us. The moment we are moved to har harshness, even if we believe it is in pursuit of a noble cause, we lose our spiritual footing, compromise our values of mercy and compassion, and undermine our strength of leadership. In this advanced spiritual citizenship, we recognize that our empowerment comes from our consciousness. We use our will to uphold that consciousness, not to attempt to dominate in another, but to evoke a quality of soul that inspires others toward taking their own healing actions. Elk wisdom will, at some stage, bring us into a testing period during which we will feel challenged. We may question or be questioned as to whether we are being realistic or should just adopt the same lower frequency approach as most others seem to. In your heart, however, you know that the moment you do this, you will lose yourself. As we pass through this initiation of elk wisdom, we will get to a place where, without any loss of passion for the healing outcome we desire, we realize that if we are willing to sell our soul to obtain results, then we have lost, not won. At this level of internal spiritual integrity, the divine can rely upon you to be a faithful helper in this world for a loving higher purpose you are trustworthy trust ah, trustworthy a true devotee to wisdom and so the appearance of el haz foretells a successful and visible soul mission for this lifetime well that is quite amazing um that went well perf like very well very well together uh perfectly well together um so i am wishing this resonates and i hope you I'm wishing you enjoyed this and thank you for being here and I will get ready to come back to do something. Um, not sure yet. I think, um, I'll do a reading on a specific location and it's, um, uh, past, um, mysteries and things like that. But anyway, if you want me to cover any topics, just let me know in the comments below. And um, all this information is for entertainment purposes only. But truth is always stranger than fiction. Let me glow. Let you glow. Use your discernment and unconditional love and light. So be it. And I will see you guys in the next video reading. Bye. Thanks.